Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear grade 6 students, hello again. I am Ahmed Al Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything. Today, inshallah, we will study Unit 2 Communication, Lesson 9. Please open your skills book to page 20. Yes, this page. What are the aims of this lesson? Let's uh, check. Unit 2 Communication Lesson 9 Skills Book Page 20 Activity 1 Skills Book Page 21 Activities 2, 3 and 4 The Aims In this lesson students will Answer WH questions after reading information about Morse code Listen to Morse code messages Read and write Morse code messages. Today, inshallah, we will study a way of communicating. This is a means of communication, Morse code. Activity 1. Read, find, and write. Read the information about Morse code and answer the questions. A. The Morse code was invented in 18... 38 by an American artist and inventor called Samuel Morse. It was used to send messages to people by radio telegraph. The first message in Morse code was sent in 1844. The code was called the International Morse Code. B. The International Morse Code is a system of dots and dashes that represent each letter of the alphabet. To send a message, people tap out the code for each letter using their fingers and a special machine that sends the message to other people electronically. One dash takes the same time as three dots. To read the message, People listen to the sounds and copy the dots and dashes onto paper. Then they use the code to write the letters of the alphabet so that they can read the message. Yes, this is the code. For example, A, a dot, a dash, B, a dash, and the three dots, and so on. These are the letters. Okay, C. Morse code can also be sent using light. Some people use this at sea to send messages to other boats. They use a short flash of light to show a dot and a long flash of light to show a dash. People use Morse code to signal when they are in danger. The most famous message in Morse code is yes, this message three dots. S, three dashes, O, three dots, S, S, O, S. This message means that the person needs help. Dear students, when you read, try to underline any difficult word and look it up at any dictionary in order to understand the meaning. You are asked here to read and to understand. Okay, read again and try to answer these questions. Which part tells us how to read Morse code? Which part tells us about sending Morse code using light? Which part tells us about the inventor? Now I will give you the answers. Number one is B. Number two is, which part uh, tells us about sending Morse code using the light? Yes, it's C. Yes, excellent. And the last one is A. This is the part which tells us about the inventor, Samuel Morse. Page 21. Activity 2. Read and answer. I will give you time to answer these questions. Use your pencil 
and write the answers here. Write short answers. Read the text about Morse code again and answer the questions below. Then come back to check your answers. We'll come back. Part A. When was the Morse code invented? Yes, excellent. In 1838. Who invented the Morse code? Yes, excellent. Samuel Morse. Yes. Where was the inventor from? Yeah, America. Part B. What represents each letter of the alphabet in Morse code? Yeah, excellent. Dots and dashes. Dots and dashes. Which takes more time? A dot or a dash? Yeah, a dash. Part C. What does... Part C. What does the message, this message, mean? It means help. Yeah. Yes. What does it spell? Yeah. S O S. To your knowledge, this message means help. And it is abbreviations. Yeah. S for save, let me write it here, save, O for our, and S for souls, save our souls, activity 3, read, write, and listen, read these letters, and write them in Morse code, now listen, let's write them, we said that, letter S, can be written as three dots. Yes, one. Yes, two. Yes, three. Letter S. And I have three dashes. O. Yes. Yeah. Then I have S. Yes, so it is save our souls. Now let's listen to this message. Yes, S O S. Okay. Now, read these words and write the letters. Then listen and tick the word you hear. You can use the code and search for the um, letter. Take your time to do this activity. Then come back to check your answer. Welcome back. Now, let's write. Yes, these dashes and dots represent C. Yeah, and here also the same C. The same letter C. Here we have dot and dash A letter. Yeah, A. Yeah, A. Yes, and dot dash dot R. Dot two dashes dot p yeah this letter and the dash represents t okay now we will listen and try to tick the word that you hear and i will help you tape script 2.11 Let's listen again. I think number two. Yeah, 
its cap. Now, activity four, read and write. Read the message from Rosie, what is it? Take your time in order to write the letters here. Then come back to check your answer. Thank you. Four dots represent H. Yeah. One dot represents E. Yes, we have dot, dash, dot, dot. Yeah, it's L. Here, yeah, the same letter, L. And the three dashes, O. So the word is hello. Now, write your own word in Morse code. Try to use this code, yeah, in order to write your own message. By this, we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.